I can't believe this is an actual place people worship. Like, it's just amazing. We spent Thanksgiving in Savannah, Georgia, and kick-started our trip by shopping on Broughton Street. Today we'll highlight some of the best historical locations in Savannah. Nearly all of downtown Savannah, Georgia is historic, but for this video we're going to give you a glimpse into the historic walking tour we did of Savannah. We'll start with the most beautiful building in Savannah, the Cathedral Basilica of St. John the Baptist. century immigrants fleeing turmoil in Haiti and France established Savannah's first parish, the Congregation de Saint-Jean-Baptiste. The cathedral has faced several fires and construction projects throughout its lifetime, but it's remained one of the most visited locations in Savannah. It's free to visit, and they even happened to be offering tours when we went. As you can see, there are numerous reasons why this cathedral is referred to as the Sistine of the South. It has 81 incredible stained glass windows. One of the most notable is the north transept window, which shows the ascension of Christ into heaven. It also features an amazing pipe organ, stations of the cross, and 34 outstanding murals. We made our way toward River Street to get a glimpse of Savannah's heyday in the mid-1800s as the leading exporter of cotton in the world. The waterfront buildings on River Street were cotton warehouses. The old cotton exchange was the center of cotton activity. It was completed in 1887, and although it's still wonderful, it has seen better days. It's no longer open to the public, mainly because it's sagging. Nevertheless, it remains one of the most photographed places in Savannah, and is one of the few structures in the world to be built over a street. That street is Factors Walk. Located at Bluffs level behind River Street, Factors Walk now hosts shops, cafes, and historic hotels. But in the 19th century, Factors used these walkways to get from the waterfront warehouses to different places in the city to sell and buy cotton. Cotton factors determine the amount of cotton that would be sold to the merchants. Below Factor's Walk lies mysterious vaults that you could easily miss if you didn't know where to look. Klusky vaults were built in the 1840s as storage units for cotton and other crops being exported or imported. They were designed by Charles Blakey Klusky, an Irish immigrant who also designed other buildings in Savannah, such as the Sorrel Weed House and the Harper Folks House. We toured the Sorrel Weed House during our first trip to Savannah. At 16,000 square feet, it is also one of the largest houses in the city. The house was built for Francis Sorrel, a wealthy shipping merchant, and may be more familiar to you than you think. The opening scene of Forrest Gump was filmed there, like when the feathers kind of flying through the city. It goes across Madison Square, which is across from Sorrel Weed. And then I think it splices to Chippewa Square, which is where the famous Forrest Gump bench was, where the bus stop was for the film. And it's super haunted. You've got to check out as many of Savannah's 22 squares as you can while you're here. General James Oglethorpe, who founded Savannah in 1733, laid out his new city in squares, which were originally intended to provide colonists space for practical reasons such as militia training exercises. The original plan resembles the layout of contemporary military camps. Now, they're surrounded by homes and businesses. Among our favorites are Madison Square, named after James Madison, 
Chippewa Square, Lafayette Square, Reynolds Square, and Oglethorpe Square. It's impossible to take in Savannah's history in one day, let alone in one trip. This barely covers all the historic places Savannah has to offer, but we hope it gives you a little taste of this tremendous city. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.